this. Now, of that one, someone is, it has been taken advantage of and they've, you know, their benefits have been misused or they've had someone else steal their identity. What happens with that Social Security number? Do they still keep that and you just clean it up? Or what's the process that happens behind the scenes? We usually advise the person to keep the Social Security number, unless for some reason you are actually being threatened or it is otherwise harming you, I'm sorry, otherwise causing you significant harm. Mm -hmm. um, because, as you know, the Social Security number is the key to a lot of things. It's the key to your bank account, driver's licenses, passports, everything. And so going through and changing that information is very, very difficult. Um, not to mention that if you change your Social Security number and we get you a new one, then you have a brand new Social Security number and people are going to question that, like, why do you have a new Social Security number? They're going to think that mm -hmm. you're committing fraud, when in reality you're the victim of the fraud. Um, but what we can do is we can, on our end, we can uh, flag your Social Security number to lock out any type of internet access. We can also uh, put locks on your account to prevent it from being changed through uh, any type of external programs from Social Security. So essentially it kind of limits you in that you'll have to come into our field office to do anything with Social Security, but it also prevents uh, any type of further fraud from taking place on, on your account.